Nicola Sturgeon's independence dream would result in Scotland becoming an EU colony forced to ditch the pound in favour of the euro, an economist has warned. Professor David Blake was speaking after the publication of an opinion poll in yesterday's Sunday Telegraph suggesting 39% of Scots would be less likely to vote yes in a future referendum if Scotland was required to sign up for the bloc's single currency. For Professor Blake, the survey underlined points he made earlier this year in a blog written for the Briefings for Britain website entitled Scottish Independence, Playing by EU Rules. And he claimed Mrs Sturgeon was not being entirely honest over the impact of severing ties with the UK. Professor Blake, of City, University of London, told Express.co.uk, the SNP is obsessed with independence. But it is not real independence that it wants, not the kind of independence that, say, Slovakia and the Czech Republic achieved when Czechoslovakia split up in 1993. No, the SNP wants independence, so that it can become a colony of a new empire, the European Union. He warned, joining the EU would mean Scotland joining the euro and giving up the pound. It would also mean a hard border with England with passports and customs checks. Turning his attention to Scotland's First Minister, Mr Blake added, Nicola Sturgeon knows this perfectly well, but is trying to fool the Scots into believing that her negotiating skills are so extraordinary that she will be able to get the EU to agree a deal whereby Scotland retains both the pound and a frictionless border with England. But this is pure fantasy. If you join the EU, you must join the Euro and obey all the rules of the EU Single Market and Customs Union. Ms Sturgeon was even trying to argue that a hard border would be good for Scotland, Professor Blake pointed out. He said, this is madness given that 60% of Scottish exports are with the rest of the UK and only 20% with EU. Leaving the UK and joining the EU would be a massive act of economic self-harm for Scotland. The Scottish people need to start doing some reality checks. This poll showing strong opposition to giving up the pound for the euro is one of the first realisations of what Scottish independence would really mean in practice. The poll, carried out by Redfield and Wilton Strategies of 1,000 adults, also found that 47% of people would vote to remain in the UK in another referendum, with 44% in favour of leaving. The SNP has issued mixed messages on the subject of what future currency an independent Scotland would use. In 2019, Mrs Sturgeon claimed the country would not be forced to adopt the euro if it joined the EU. However, in April Foreign Affairs spokesman Alan Smith said the SNP totally accepted joining the euro as the price of EU membership. Commenting yesterday, Pamela Nash, chief executive of pro-union campaign group Scotland in Union, said, this is yet another poll which shows a majority of people in Scotland want to remain part of the UK. The strength of our pound has helped us protect jobs and the NHS throughout the COVID pandemic, yet the SNP wants to scrap the pound. Rather than obsess about how to divide communities and put people's livelihoods at risk, the government should remain focused on the many years of recovery ahead.